action. Hello, welcome back to I Don't Know Movies, the only podcast where we talk about movies even though we do not know them. We're coming to you live at the moment, not while you're watching it, from the Lincoln Lodge. Ever heard of it? I hope so, because I mention it most episodes. I do forget sometimes, and I would like to apologize to Mark Geary personally, who invented the Lincoln Lodge, I think. <laughs> I don't have Google. The, my mom won't let me have it. But the point is, is that we are here for a podcast where we talk about movie trivia and we read the parental guide section on IMDb so that the other two can guess what movie we're talking about. What's fun about this is that all of the parental guidance section on IMDb is user submitted. So anyone can go in and say for two seconds, you might see some dog poop. And for, uh, and, and under vulgarity, it might say uh, what other synonym it uses instead of that. You see what I'm saying? If not, you will soon. Um, my name is Ian Abramson. Is it? <laughs> that was good. Okay. So uh, now that you two have introduced yourselves, we're going to go <laughs> ahead and get into the game. I'm going to do the first movie and uh, we will get started. Are you all ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. <sighs> the number or no, I'm sorry. I'm Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, sorry. What? Uh, I'm Charlie Rohr. Uh, we didn't really introduce ourselves. I know what Ian thought we did. Uh, I am Ben Kobold. <laughs> I thought we were gonna get graphics over your your uh, face when that was happening. Oh, you didn't see the graphics? They no, like I this. didn't see them yet. You see? Ah, oh, that's good. Thank you so much. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, first, this is such a great first clue. I'm very excited to get to uh, to begin with this, okay? Uh, this is under sex and nudity. Okay. Um, based on 159 user votes. <clears throat> this is a mm. helpful metric because that is a high number, meaning that it's probably a popular movie. Okay, first clue. A drawing of a demon is shown with prominent breasts. Hmm. My Instagram feed. <laughs> That's because I'm always posting that. That's why it's on your feed. Can I make a guess? Yes, please. It's one of uh, ten movies I've seen. Are you serious? Yeah, I don't watch that many movies. But if I, you get it in one, you're gonna part. be. No, this I don't is know. Amazing. This is. It's just going. Go ahead and my guess. Gut. Yeah. Ghostbusters. No, great guess though. Thank you. Good guess. I love it. Uh, definitely, you're definitely in the right okay. space. I love it. Okay, still on sex and nudity. A man asks his girlfriend to take off her shirt and pants and be in her bra and underwear for the camera. Mm. A demon with breasts. <laughs> a drawing of a demon with breasts. And a man... It still feels like Ghostbusters. <laughs> Great. Okay. Um, <clears throat> profanity. Okay. Based on 111 user votes. Okay. Uh, in one scene, Blank shows his middle finger to the camera. Hmm. No guesses. I, I'm getting further from it. I That's think. okay. That's okay. okay. Just, uh, you know, you Through reach me. into the ether, you say whatever you think. Don't be afraid to be wrong. Right? I do like that he shows his finger to the camera. Right. Does he break the fourth wall? Or is that just a weird way to describe somebody giving the finger on camera? Keep going. Deadpool. <laughs> What, what, I, what I love about this game is that when you're playing it, none of the clues make sense. And then instantly when you know it, it's yeah. all like that played by the rules completely. Yeah. Uh, there were so many clues and you're picking up on more of them than you think. Okay. Alcohol, drugs, and smoking. Blank and blank drink wine in one scene. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. <laughs> <clears throat> no. Dang. Frightening and intense scenes. Uh severe jump scares that's all it says Ooh. severe jump scares a drawing of a demon with breasts what was severe the, jump scares yeah, severe jump scares, scares the middle finger to the camera, to the camera. and uh, two people having a, a nice glass of wine mm -hmm. at night mm -hmm. 
Okay. The original ending has Blank accidentally shot down and killed by the police. <laughs> Would only know it if you owned the DVD. <laughs> the original ending. With the mm. alternate ending. Has Blank shot down and killed by the police? Okay, this, this next one's a big clue. I'm excited okay. for this. Okay. okay. Yeah. <clears throat> you definitely have heard of this movie. Okay. Even if you haven't seen it. Okay. It's in the it's in the zeitgeist enough that uh, I think it's possible for you to get this. Okay. There is one scene where a character is thrown across the room and one scene where a character's hand is bleeding from gripping an object tightly. Other than that, there is no violence or gore. <clears throat> What are you thinking? No wrong answer. I'm thinking Indiana Jones. That is wrong. <laughs> um, but good guess. Mm. And and <laughs> the thing is, is that that wouldn't be the only violence or gore, right? But you're close. I like the way you're thinking. Uh, what do you mean by that? A character? Only? I don't know. I already oh, forgot okay. what I said. <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Here here's one that is technically under spoilers, but I'm going to blank out names. Okay. Frightening and intense scenes. Blank's body is violently hurled at the camera, which is knocked off the tripod, revealing a demonic blank standing in the doorway. That's the first half of this clue. Blank's body is thrown at the she camera. She slowly walks into the room, stained with blood, and crawls to Blank's body, then looks up at the camera with a grin. As she lunges toward the camera, her face takes on a demonic appearance, just as the scene cuts to black. If that didn't do it, then I am going to guess neither of you have seen this. The Ring. You're so close. Uh, You're so close. Th Put all the stuff together. You're there, Ben. Okay. There's uh, a demon, a drawing of a demon with exposed breasts. <laughs> There's a middle finger to the camera. To the camera. So it's camp. Well. John, you know this one? What would be Christine another? Knows it? What would be? Oh, an, yes, shit. please, Christine. Blair Witch Project. You are so close. Uh, you're so close. This is you're you're oh red hot. What would what would the closest movie you could compare the Blair Witch Project to be? Oh, it's it's the one that made all the money that was made for no money. Right, The Godfather. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Paranormal activity. Boom! Yeah. Yes! Okay. Yeah. With your. I love that you were like, middle finger to the camera. It's got to be Deadpool. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, where did they I, break the fourth you, wall? You were picking up on the fact that there were. It was like two camera, but it was under a different context. It was like, What's oh, a meta? Camp. it's like, how do I not give it away, but also somehow. Wow. Is that so the first for the show that someone guessed it? No. No. Oh, okay. Not at all. Okay. No. That wasn't even the first for the episode. You slept through a few. <laughs> uh, uh, but it's also not a big deal if nobody guesses. We don't care. Okay. We don't care if you're enjoying this. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that's the guarantee of I don't know movies. If you want to see a show that won't pressure you into enjoying what you're watching as long as you keep watching, then this is the place for you. And we hope you send us any number of money you got a patreon for this show what is that uh they send you money monthly it's like uh is this like the irs uh well kind of the opposite of the irs yeah i think i think it's the opposite of that yeah if Am you I get the both IRS? they balance each other up <laughs> i'm the irs of this podcast right <laughs> Ian really sucks. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Charlie, do you have one? Where could you go? <laughs> All right. That's what um, my mom used to ask me. So let's start with sex and nudity. Okay, first one coming in hot. A woman reveals she lost her virginity to her cousin. Fair enough. Pitch perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would have been upset if you, if anybody got that. Like, why is that your touchstone for this? Um, from a distance, we see a woman passionately making out with a man. Mean girls. No, but I feel like I feel like your mind's in the right spot. A man asks a girl if she'd like to make her fantasies come true by sleeping with him. Ten things I hate about you. Nope. That was not a movie title. That was a list that <laughs> I was running in my head. Wind from a helicopter blade causes a pregnant woman's dress to blow up. 
we see Romy her. and Michelle's high school reunion. Wow. I was hot on that trail you from the were. second you said that. Because if a character, if, a, if like a character takes the time to be like a, and I lost my virginity to my cousin, you got to hope it's a, it's a comedy, uh -huh. you know, <laughs> <laughs> because like if that's being dealt with in a very serious way, it's, uh, it's, I mean, it's possible. It Fair felt enough. like a, a Varelli Brothers movie. A Varelli Brothers movie. Yeah. Yeah. What is an example of that? Uh, I think they did like, they did something about Mary. What did they do about Mary? <laughs> Something. Something about her. I think. <laughs> Are you talking about The Passion of the Christ? Yes, I am. That movie could be called Something About Mary. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, do you have another I got movie? one queued up. Beautiful. I'm so excited about this. What comes after a queued up movie? You. All right. That's what always comes after Q. We're going to say Q&A. It should be Q and you. You ready to go? I am ready to go. All right. They call me QAnon. Please edit all of this out, John. <laughs> Let's, uh, we'll, we'll start with profanity. Oh, fuck. One use of damn it. Three uses of hell. Armageddon. That's in, in the right. <laughs> I'm I, I'm like the guy playing basketball that just like throws it over his shoulder, hoping that one day he gets it right. <laughs> they the, seem close. The moment it touches your hands, you're just <laughs> <laughs> towards any basket in sight. <laughs> right, right. A faint shit is heard when blank is hanging from a street light. Wow. I Ameri like this. American History X. That would have way more profanity than that. Colder. <laughs> yeah. Cool. That there. would be baffling if American <laughs> History X had that few like swear words. <laughs> I was just trying to think like what where what movie has terrible things happening in the street. Okay. Right. Hey, well, I like that description uh, the description of that that clue because it's like a brief shit is heard or a faint shit is heard. <laughs> Like, are we hearing someone shitting quietly off in the distance? That or might... is it someone quietly saying shit while they hang from a streetlight? I can answer that. Oh. Because I, I misled, maybe. Uh, it wasn't in quotes. Shit was in quotes. Interesting. So, I guess that could so the still word, go. So the word shit, okay, though, probably. Way. Yeah. It is probably the word shit. I'm just being a dick. But... No, I, like, I think that was. Think a, I think that was. This a, is crass, and I'm sorry, but is it? Would it be possible to fart loud enough that you get an echo? Let's move on. <laughs> We're gonna go to uh, sex and nudity. Okay. There, there are two, two here. Oh. oh, sorry, you meant the game. If you've watched this before, you've seen that joke. <laughs> <laughs> when blank and blank are in Blank's apartment. Blank man. Blank changes his shirt, and he's seen shirtless for a few seconds. Twilight. In the right, uh, do I have to keep giving those? Like, no. you're warm or cold? Or <laughs> no, 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 not at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's all, it's, it's, at that point, that was at that point it's, your, it's Bueller's acts. choice. It's okay. Bueller's choice. You get to do it however you want. Yeah, exactly. You don't get to say anything. This one might give it away. Love it. This is my favorite clue so far. Around 27.30. 27 minutes, okay. 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, no wonder it's going to give it away. I love a timestamp. Programs strip blank to his underwear to put him in a suit. Say that again. Around 27.30, programs strip blank to his underwear to put him in a suit. Iron Man. That's, that's close. The Tuxedo. That movie has come up so many times on this podcast. I've never seen it. <clears throat> I don't think about it, and suddenly it's coming up at least once a week. Okay, go on. Well, this might change your guess. Okay. By 27 minutes, 45 seconds, he's in the suit. Oh. It takes 15 seconds for him to be stripped and get into the suit by programs. It's not blank, Iron Man. blank by programs. Tron. Incredible. Yeah? Yes. Wait, it's Tron? Yes! 
Excellent. I'm the best. Excellent. That's what Wario says. What? <laughs> That was good. Yeah, that was I because that I, was it really was like it felt like programs. Right. Feels like it should be telling me more. Right. That was amazing. Wow. Good was, job. Programs is what did it. It wasn't the 15 seconds. <laughs> it It's the combination, right? Yeah. Because it's like if if – there's programs of some kind and there and it takes 15 seconds yeah then the idea that you're seeing this character go into a suit for 15 seconds like it has to be cool or interesting or important that he's going into the suit right yeah. that's why i yeah. said iron man i was like yeah, that yeah. makes was... obvious sense and i was like mm -hmm. what else mm -hmm. is, is there any kind of like computer movie where like the programs would be like on like are they in the computer and then i thought of tron 2 and i thought wait a second what if it's the movie that that's a sequel to? Oh. Mm. And I couldn't remember what it was called, so I went through the entire plot of Kingdom Hearts 2 in my head <laughs> until I remembered when they got to Tron, and suddenly I asked Charlie. That's a lie. He was just thinking about movies where he sees Jeff Bridges button up his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Did you queue up another one? I have another one, yeah. Nice. I'm ready to go. Okay. I have a long train ride to get here, so <laughs> <laughs> that's how I spend my train ride is choosing movies. And my movies have secret themes. Ooh. <laughs> They've not been the good. The first one was Romy and Michelle. Yes. Okay. Such a good choice. I feel like this week's secret theme is going to be easier to pick up on. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start with alcohol, drugs, and smoking. This is based on Great. 175 user votes. Blank is shown smoking marijuana a couple of times, and he is constantly high. Dazed and confused. Good guess. Good guess. Blank drinks white Russians in several scenes. The Our producer's got it. Come on, say it on mic. I got it. John, <laughs> John, if you're here, if you can hear me, put an image right here and speak. <laughs> The Big Lebowski. Wow! Oh my goodness! Do you see this confetti falling? Oh my goodness! Whoa! When John gets one right, he goes kind of extra on celebrating. Wow. <laughs> you just had to get another Jeff Bridges in, didn't you? I. Uh, literally, what happened is you said Jeff Bridges uh, buttoning his shirt, and I was like, Big Lebowski. Love it. <laughs> That's my secret theme. <laughs> You ready? <laughs> your secret theme is your second movie is referencing something that I said on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Usually. Jason Acevedo did that to me, and uh, uh, what he did got you, me good. You did it with me. I even I said the name of a movie, and like 45 seconds later, we're doing that, and I'm like, mm. <laughs> I can't remember what movie it was. I don't either. Hmm. I, my mom doesn't let me watch movies. Fair enough. I just read about them on Wikipedia. I read this great thing about Cars 2. Lightning McQueen changes lane. Doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. We're going to start with frightening and intense scenes. <clears throat> There's one entry. It starts. It says, none. Though some may find racial profiling offensive. A man is seen with huge boils and pus spews out. Which is this still one clue? <laughs> is this the same clue? A man lies bleeding to death in a hospital. Wait, are these different clues, right? or did they literally transition <laughs> from <laughs> racial profiling to boils as if that was the racial profiling? There's, so There's also a scene where a raccoon attacks Blank and bites him in the car. That was all one Everything, clue. everywhere, all wow. at once. Excellent guess. Honestly, excellent guess. Thank you. That Raccoon was all had one to, clue. Had to, that was really all it one clue? It starts with none. <laughs> <Yeah>. Comma. <laughs> and then a paragraph. Uh, yeah, that was all one clue. Incredible. Not everything everywhere. Love it, though. Uh, let's move on to alcohol, drugs, and smoking. Blank throws pot out the window. We see cigarette cartons in the background of a convenience store. That's a get that's like the homeward bound dog crotch. It's like you're 
in a convenience store. You don't have to describe that there may right. or may not be. Do you not, not let your child go into 7-Eleven with you? Like, is that... Why didn't this gas station yeah. have, like, a rating system? <laughs> I don't want my kids seeing cigarettes. Yeah, they put the, the things that they used to put uh, in front of... Uh, Pornography magazines, you know, <laughs> like, right, right, right. But for cigarettes, you see what I'm saying, Ben? Oh, God. Get, those plastic seals were the bane of my existence as a kid. I was just, I would like try to mash it in a way where the magazine would open enough to see a boob. That was my wow. version of. We didn't have cable, so I had to just go to the gas station and try to look at porn through. Anyways. Um, it must have been really weird to like work the register, yeah. knowing what's going on, having to pretend like as long as this doesn't get too weird, I can just like stay busy pretending like I'm not noticing the 11 year old. I don't want to have to have that conversation. It's like that must have had to happen a lot. Right? There's like a certain amount of crinkling where it's like, all right, buddy, the pages are getting bent. Like you got to get out of here. Yeah, people always romanticize how things used to be, but the world is much better now that there's no pornography. <laughs> uh, whose turn is it? You're still going. I think it's mine. Um, sorry. Okay, we see programming on the TV that shows two guys smoking pot. And then one, after saying he's so high, putting a rifle barrel in his mouth. We then see it's an anti-drug commercial. Knocked up. Mm. No, not knocked up. You're on the right track, I think. I feel like that one would have been like a spoiler for like a fan of this movie, but I am confident both of you have seen this movie. This is That's why I said Knocked Up. Knocked Up is a very good movie that I wouldn't call myself a or fan other, of. Uh, you know? Yeah. Films <laughs> from that genre. Also, good guess. Yeah. Not correct, but. What was your guess? Uh, a comedian with Adam Sandler. Not Jerry Seinfeld. Uh, okay, that movie's called This Is My Guess, Not His. Funny People. Yes. <laughs> also, no. <enough. laughs> Let's see. Um. <laughs> Those are the Judds that I know. These are the Judds I know. I know. <laughs> These are the Judds I know. Any uh, any kids in the hall fans? <laughs> Producer Christine, that was just for her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, many characters are seen smoking marijuana, including a comic scene in which a wild cheetah is getting high from inhaling the smoke. Hmm. Also, a comic scene in which Blank is dreaming about living with a giant bag of marijuana as a wife. I have seen this. You've seen this. Pineapple Express. No, but you're getting, we're closer to the right track. I can picture the bag there. of weed you that can. he's married to. Um, it's like the size of a pillow or something. Here, let's try another. Uh, Let's go is this with the one with the, sex and nudity. The boils and the hate crime started this. One? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, what, what it was kind of doing world building, where it was going over the Old Testament to understand how we got to where it is. <laughs> the boils and the hate crime started this. Oh, that's my favorite Paul McCartney song. <laughs> <laughs> that's the description for this the podcast. The boils <laughs> and the hate crimes. <laughs> Uh, two girls flash their breasts at a party, which is shown on camera. How else are things shown in a movie? A woman shows her breasts to two guys. Harold and Kumar. <laughs> Thank White you Castle. for interrupting that clue <laughs> with the correct answer. Yes! yes! Yeah! Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that was harrowing. Uh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely harrowing. It was a. Uh, I have to. It was a woman that shows her breasts to two guys and prepares to have sex, but is stopped by her disfigured husband that wants to mm. join in. Is that uh, Chris Elliott? Who no, plays it's that? Christopher Malone. Milani? Maloney. He's a gorgeous man. He's like that. He's so like he's typical a, TV dad. No, no. no he's, he's got a uh, big butt. A big muscle. Ooh, butt. yeah, he's got some cake on him. Yeah. Uh, what would I know him from? Law and Order? One of the many <laughs> Law and Order shows? <laughs> Just that cake. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. <laughs> uh, I think I think he's on one of the Law and Order shows. You would know him. Oh, yeah. He, he was okay. uh, he was the, the cook in uh, the summer camp comedy. Yes, he's Gene in Wet Hot American Summer. Oh, yeah. That yeah. is very helpful. That really that really did it. What a great character. And that makeup is so good. 
because he does not. You would. I want to see a graphic on either side of Ian's face <laughs> of the two versions. <laughs> Get you a man that can do both. <laughs> there's this, and there's this. That's Take a challenge. <laughs> Make sure to vote and, and like and subscribe in the comments. It's fun seeing. It's fun when John's in the room to see the gags that we're setting up for him yeah. <laughs> it's true yeah we, we, we <laughs> poor john would have to just be in the room but he's actually stopped us several times saying i'm not going to do that and then edited around it i assume uh, if you haven't seen at least 10 of those bits it's because john decided they weren't funny enough to keep in because so. john was like ian stop talking about american history x i can't make it funny no matter how hard i try <laughs> Uh, okay, John, can you actually line up? Uh, this is the poster for American History no, X, wait, no. okay? <laughs> and then this is the, the poster for American History X, a one a, a I X, okay? And then this is V I I I, American History V I I I, you see what I'm saying? So, like, that way it's American History 10. Can you do that, John? <laughs> okay, let's yeah. move on. Uh, ben, you have another one for us? I do. I don't feel uh, strongly about this one, but I Glad clicked on it. it from the last one, so it was easy. God forbid you'd have a have enthusiasm. Yeah. Oh also, wait. A lot of times <laughs> I picked a video game. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> wow. <Let> me... <laughs> I, love, I There, there's like not having enthusiasm, and then there's like, all right, Tron. Let me just. Uh, <laughs> there's got to be. Oh. The I'm now is just on Tron uh, the game, right? <laughs> I thought this was a Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> this is just the video game for Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> Did you know they made a game based on that movie? <laughs> I right. loved that the the movie with uh, uh, what's his name in it the like '90s Mario movie. I loved it as a kid. I thought it was so weird and so cool. Did you never uh, saw it? It was live Bob, action. Bob Hoskins, yeah. John, John huh. Leguizamo. No, I've never seen it. Bob Hoskins. Excellent flick. You've never seen it? It's not one I of the ten movies so. you've seen? No, <laughs> I, w I, I would be worried about you if that was... <laughs> that would if a person had like seen very little and they had seen that, I'd have questions. Because I'm assuming one of these ten movies you've seen, at least one of them, is like... That type of VHS movie that was at like a grandparents' house, and it was the only thing you had access to, and you've seen it too many times. The and mask. I could see, was it that? Yeah. that? The mask was that in that situation. The mask was probably that. See, that's a good, that's a good movie that to be stuck movie. in that scenario mm -hmm. with. The mask. The mask in uh, Batman, probably. The Tim Burton. Uh, Tim Burton was in Batman. He was. He when was did Tim Burton Batman. play Batman? Uh, Every of, night. <laughs> you're thinking of Edward Scissorhands. That character is like <laughs> Batman, but it's actually Johnny Depp. Huh. Okay, why don't you start us? <laughs> All right, this is a movie, and I feel good about this one. <laughs> I'm convinced. I'm pretty sure it's a movie. <laughs> Here, let me give a, a pre-hint. Okay. Love a pre-hint. This is a show first. Uh, sex and nudity, it's got the most. Of Okay, that's okay. helpful. That's helpful. All right, I don't want to give too many pre hints. Sex in the City too. Uh, no. I just chuck it. I just yeah, yeah, gotta go. Two characters have phone sex, where sexual language is used. The type of phone sex where sexual language is used. <laughs> Going the distance, starring Drew Barrymore. Hmm. I can't say if that's hot or cold. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Like <laughs> that's Siberia of a guess. Like based on your interpretation. Like, I don't or know if you made that up. On principle, yeah. you can't. <laughs> Barely sounded like a guess. Wow. I love that. Clue this though. might give it away. We're at the fifty-one minute mark okay. of this film. Okay. S cinema. Yeah. At fifty-one minutes. Approximately. <laughs> there is a scene where two women are kissing and one reveals her breasts. Nude scene. <laughs> Nude scene. In parentheses at the end? Nope, there's a comma. <laughs> comma just nude scene. Ends with that nude scene. All right, two women are making out, one reveals her breasts. Nude scene. Yeah. Showgirls. Ooh. I like that guess. Phone sex was sexual. It's not close, but I like it. Mm. Okay. American Pie 2. Really? Yeah. Did I get it? Yep. <laughs> I am a king of my own podcast! Wow. That 
That's crazy because that was amazing wow. to do a sequel. <laughs> yeah, to do a sequel of a trilogy. Wait, is it a trilogy? I, guess I believe so. Yeah. There's more than three, but sure, you get a franchise. It's like no, impressive. I don't know. How did you? What? What about it? Um. I remember seeing that in theaters. I saw it with my dad, and I remember watching this particular scene where uh, I don't know how to say it. I guess there's two girls that start kissing. One of them reveals their breasts, <laughs> comma nude scene, and it was uh, it was a weird experience um, that I'll never forget. So you said phone sex, and there was a lot of sex. So I was like, okay, teen-ish kind of sex comedy kind of vibe, and then I was like, what? movie has two women kissing and I suddenly remembered one of the strangest things I've ever felt which was realizing that my father and I were watching the same movie <laughs> fair enough <laughs> that's so how I got so it that's your slumdog millionaire is that you oh, that's recall have seen this movie the <laughs> weird feeling <laughs> of seeing Breasts while women are making out. I was in with middle school, and this was this was an intense scene, uh, which is to say, it's like, listen, we're in weird territory here, but this movie it can it, get it, weirder because I have a story about this scene. <laughs> do you really? Yeah. And you didn't remember it? Wow, <laughs> leaving me hanging here. No. Uh, I less detail. It was just it, it was my when, my a sexual a first sexual encounter. Uh, was to that of the scene. third kind, and it was on my parents' cold, concrete basement floor. <laughs> okay, where does this movie come in? That's the movie we were watching when it happened. <laughs> Fair that, enough. That scene. Well, that scene would have. Uh, oh, is that what they do? An instructional video. <laughs> so I take on my breast now, right? Um, damn, a sequel. Excellent work. Thank you. You got another one for us? Oh yeah, y'all ready for this? Da -na -na. Mm. Bum 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 bum. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'll I'll kind of uh, interrupt me at any point. Okay, of with course. good guesses. Two men gawk at a woman. A man and a woman passionately kiss at the end. Blank makes lewd comments to a woman while holding her in his hands. He is then kneed in the groin. Mm. Mild sexual references. Uh, going to violence and gore. A man is punched multiple times back and forth. He eventually knocks him out. In one scene, about a dozen men are shot, but there's no blood and they aren't main characters. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I did not read that ahead of time. <laughs> I love that. In a deleted scene on the DVD, Blank is thrown into a printing press, which her face appears on the front page of a bloody red newspaper highlighting her death. That was just fun. I have not seen that deleted scene. I'll say that. That's crazy. Oh, this is actually a very fun... Profanity can sometimes be a lot if you're just, like, saying a bunch of profane sure. things, but this is a particularly fun and brief one, so I'm going to read it <laughs> okay. like it's a E.E. E. Cummings poem, okay? <laughs> Profanity. Mild, based on 85 user votes. Five uses of God as an exclamation. Three uses of ass. Seven uses of hell. Three uses of bitch, all paired with son of a... Three uses of damn. One use of the French word merde, in parentheses, shit. The word dick is used once. One use of crap. Is it the mask? It is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, uh, man. There were a lot of ones that would have definitely given it away. <laughs> uh, 
such as uh, a woman fully clothed dances at a party. The mask is obviously infatuated. <laughs> That's what's fun is they refer to Jim Carrey wearing the mask as the mask through all this. <laughs> yeah, the character. In a scene, the mask is making balloon animals. After making the first balloon animal, he pulls out a condom and says, sorry, wrong pocket. No. Uh, what was the first clue? Two men gawk at a woman. Oh, dear. Two men gawk at a woman. And then it was a woman getting murdered by throw, getting thrown into a copy In machine. a deleted scene. Yeah. So that's, my mind, I was trying to think back to like, okay, what's a, a movie that would have a silly murder? <laughs> like, right, right. Uh, but Roger it is Rabbit violent. Vibes, but it is violent, right. Like that's They clearly definitely... shot that in case they wanted to push the boundary a little bit, you yeah. know, and then they were able to pull it back a bit. And do you know it was shit in French that... That gave it, it away. For some reason. I, I, I get don't it. know why. I get it. Silly murder and shit in French. It all <laughs> came together. And then, oh, you know what else it was? Is I was like, Ian is pulling an audible. This is an extra that he's had to just think of. Mm. What's Ian's game? <laughs> What's a podcast that has been mentioned and not talked to? Or podcast. podcast. What's an episode? WTF with Mark Maron. <laughs> a movie. I'm tired. Leave me alone. Uh, what's a movie that Ian has? Is that your impression of Mark Maron? Yeah. Boom, bada, boom, bada, boom. Okay. I'm tired. Leave me alone with the fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> with the fucking nuts. Anyways, uh, great job. Thank you. Should I do another one? What's our time? Uh, 36 minutes. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah I'll do another one. Okay. Right. I've got, I've got an idea I've in the got, can. I have no uh, idea how entertaining hopes. these. Uh, Has this been I the was most, going two most tickets successful to paradise. guesses in a, a podcast? Absolutely. We, and it's oh, all wow. because of you, Ben. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> You're killing it. Yeah. Guess of the century. We barely good. pay attention. I know it looks like there's only a few people in this room, but I'm going to ask the audience <laughs> to give us a round of applause here so you can hear the how how palpable the energy is in this room. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody, round of applause! <laughs> wow, there was one person screaming in pain back there. Whoa. There, that, happened. There, that, there hap is... that happens when, the, when a room is this packed, it can get dangerous. There Please, like, everyone be safe. Stop cheering so loud, it hurts. Mm -hmm. that's, that's in the sequel to Bring It On. <laughs> Anyways, Blank's mother's lack of empathy and boundaries might be disturbing to some teens. Say that again. Blank's mother's lack of empathy and boundaries might be disturbing to some teens. I think it's a Medea. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a hell of a description of a Medea movie. Dang. Wow. <laughs> and I guarantee teens uh, find the lack of boundaries yeah, in Medea's teens, movies disturbing. Teens specifically, dude. Teens, teens specifically would be like, okay, this mom's boundaries are really messing with my head here, I gotta say. We all know how teens feel about Medea movies. Dude, you get, a, you get a bunch of teens in a room watching Medea, they're gonna have some thoughts. Okay. Um, almost Famous is my guess. It is not a Medea movie, it's not Almost Famous. Okay. Uh, Blank drives his car off a high cliff, and the camera zooms in on a freeze frame mid-fall. The audience is briefly left to assume that he has been killed. Once upon a time in Hollywood. No. Blank commits suicide via poison. Nothing is shown, but the aftermath and Blank's clear distress are clear. Groundhog Day. No. Groundhog's Day. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the general <laughs> no I'm going to skip this one for now this will be uh... oh wait okay the suicide scenes and frighten or upset some people oh this is Harold and Maude this is Harold and Maude why did you wow. <laughs> wait <laughs> how wow wait why what if what if the gibberish that I just <laughs> I just butchered a sentence. That's how I would play baseball. <laughs> if I was playing baseball, first of all, I would absolutely be in a chair up there. All right, I'm trying to get comfy with my stance. Get there. That way, that way, I don't have to worry about standing. Right, I can just fully sit and focus on the arm strength. Right. right? And then the whole way down all of the the, the bases, I can do that. Okay. Use my microphone. Um. 
That should be a rule. If you're if you're willing to accept the strikeout zone of your standing height, you should be allowed to sit down when you are at bat. Hmm. That's I've been saying that for about 25 years now. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Raise your hand if when you played baseball as a kid, you got in trouble for sitting down in the outfield. And picking dandelions. Same! <laughs> Oh my god, that is exactly what I was doing. I was like, I was like, why are we pretending like the ball's about to come out here? Oh my god. You know what I mean? This is the end of the season. You we have not won a single game. In left field? Is it left? <laughs> is it stage left? I would always figure out what side they were most worried about based on where I was. Or yeah, wh- yeah, whatever no, exactly. side they were least worried about is where they would put I me. I can't remember if I played left or right field because I literally can't remember if it's supposed to be when you're at bat looking out or out looking in. But I played the one that they were like, just get him the fuck out of the way. Just let him sit down. <laughs> he just wants to sit down. That's all he wants. How'd you know it was Harold Maude? Uh, suicide Scenes Fair. and uh, Overbearing Mom. I love that movie. Uh, I've never seen it. <laughs> oh, oh, the suicide scenes are a big part of that movie. Yeah. So that, that, that was super helpful. He's constantly faking his own death to freak out his overbearing mother. Oh shit. Yeah, like that it's so so in the movie yeah. it'll uh they they usually try and shock you with it too. So like the mom will just be going into the bathroom and he's like set up his body all bloody and everything. And so So it's like how in the the Batman makes you know it, it makes you understand how it feels to be Batman. What? Harold and Maud makes it so you can understand how it feels to be Harold's mother. That I'm on board with. I don't know what you're talking about with the Batman. <laughs> Was that conversation before the podcast? No idea what you're talking about. I'm definitely not leaving you out to, to hang. <laughs> I'm very familiar with, just for the sake of embarrassing you. Uh, I wouldn't do that, as you know. My name's Charlie. Hear me roar. Okay. I, let's see. Um, you guys like jokes that I wrote 10, uh, ten years ago? Okay. I uh, do. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> they bring me back to a simpler time. All right. Uh, ben, if you have one, I then, have one. Do you right. have one? Oh, yeah, uh, close us out. This it is doesn't the last feel one. like a great closer, but I'll go. That's okay, here's That's here's fine. a piece of advice. When you're going to do something, always say that. So okay. That, so that the so that people oh, know. Yeah. It's uh, it's gonna yeah, be a so letdown. Everybody. Lower your expectations. Lower the expectations. Does anyone know if you're my looking for a theme? good one? Rewind about five minutes and then stop watching. Okay. <laughs> Does anyone real quick? Did you pick up on my secret theme? Yes. I was gonna ask if uh, you you were still going with it movies that you had awkward uh sexual encounters during no he brought up american pie too <laughs> oh you're right <laughs> no, that was my <laughs> american pie too and tron do we got... should we review mine yes romeo and michelle's high school reunion yep Helen and kumar go to white castle yep harold and maude dynamic duos that's you know what that's a better way of describing it than me just saying it starts with two names and the word and with them (laughs) for me those would be three movies that i fetishized in high school and then realized had dysfunctional protagonists as an adult Mm. ben thoughts just kidding (laughs) okay bring us on home honestly that perspective with Romeo and Michelle's high school reunion is kind of fucking me up right now but (laughs) right (laughs) right when you when you watch a movie and you're like this is the coolest person I can imagine and then you watch it as an adult and you're like the entire point of this movie is that they're losers right what have I been doing when I'm watching Hill and Kumar I'm like I gotta start a podcast I gotta smile and that's the origin story of of IDKM (laughs) <laughs> it really is. The, the other two are just were more clearly dysfunctional to me than suddenly it's like, oh, I thought Romy and Michelle were just having fun. I thought they were just living life. I thought I was I thought I was 36 and everything was OK. Ian. that's what I thought. Anyways, what's uh, <laughs> what's your final movie? Hey, this is a good one. Ooh. So I want to do a Edit pre- that out, John. <laughs> pre-clue. I want to do a pre-clue. OK, great. So that'd be, uh, you know, keep running with that if you like it. I like it. Free clue, uh, the, the dominance category here is violence and gore. Okay. And I think that's a good, good pre clue. We're going to dive right into violence and gore. Very bloody, but no gore. <laughs> Sin City. Okay. That's definitely not the case, as I'm remembering other parts of Sin City. 
Very bloody, but no gore. Several people are shot, stabbed, or hanged throughout the movie. Each time, blood splatters, and we see their bloodied corpses. But no gore. Son of the mask. (laughs) Son of the mask. (laughs) In one scene, a man is shot several times by a shotgun and handguns. And we can briefly see his very bloody torso. Reservoir dogs. Ooh. When when you said violence was the prominent violence gore was the prominent category, I in, instantly was like, "All right, Quentin Tarantino movies, line them up. Let's see which one it's going to be." A prominent character is shot in the arm. Blood drenches his arm, and he yells in pain when they treat it. He is told he can no longer use his arm. Master and Commander. That's warm. Wow. I would say that's warmish. Wow. I saw that over quor- <laughs> I saw that over quarantine and uh <laughs> is that warm that's so the funny. whisper to the producer <laughs> as if he knows what movie you're talking about. <laughs> you can't see. <laughs> I love that. Sorry, what were you saying? Master and Commander. It's amazing. <laughs> the it, the title sounds so unbelievably boring, and if yeah. I tell you even a little bit about it, you'll be like, yeah, sounds cool. <laughs> but it is such a good movie. I think my cousin was an extra in it. Wow. wow. An extra what? <laughs> Person. <laughs> Master or Commander? <laughs> Just a human. Fair enough. He was a barrel. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> A prominent character shoots a bad guy with a shotgun and then shoots him again with his pistol. Blood splatters. Pineapple Express. Colder. Oh. Saving Private Ryan. They don't use shotguns in World War I. A prominent character shoots a bad guy in the head. A little bit of blood. Romeo and Michelle's High School Reunion 2. How Stella got her groove back. How? <laughs> Shoot. Uh, where did they're all about the same here? A prominent character stabs a bad guy. There is no blood. McGruber? Hmm. Zombie Land. A couple of fist fights. All right. Oh, this Shaun one. of the Dead. This one might get you... Great, cool. A bad guy slaps the bartender across the face. Okay, that means that the bartender's a good guy, but not so much that he has a character named Charlie. Yeah. These ha- these are good. These are great clues, by the way. They really are. This is a good one, because it is like... The it, Departed. It's really a puzzle here. Ooh. The Departed. Should I, should I go a little bit more Keep specific going. Yeah. here? You're good. A lot of bad guys arrive at a wedding ceremony. Someone left out. A lot of bad guys arrive at a wedding ceremony and kill everyone there. They shoot the new husband in the knee. He grimaces in pain as his new wife screams. They then finish him off with a pistol. Parentheses. Blood. Oh, no! Do you not know what that's from? Mr. Bill? Yeah, let's go with Kill Bill. We'll keep going. Oh, shit. I know, I really thought I had it. When I first, because I was saying, like, Tarantino, my first Tarantino movie that popped into mind was Kill Bill. And I was like... What happens in Kill Bill is, is at least similar. There's it, like the wedding yeah. murders. There's, wow, that's wild. Is, I feel like is this... it Kill Bill 2? <laughs> <laughs> After every... Is it my fan fiction, Kill Bill 3? <laughs> <laughs> After everyone in a wedding party is shot and killed, the bride is shown kicking and screaming as she is drugged into a church by outlaws, supposedly to be gang raped. However, a gunshot is heard a few seconds later, and it is implied she was actually murdered off screen. Less fun than the other clues. <laughs> uh, 
what is it? No. I have no idea. I'm gonna do a speed round sure. of uh, alcohol, drugs, and smoking. Love okay. it. Some drinking and smoking, characters are shown drunk. Pervasive smoking of cigars and cigarettes. Character uh, pervasively drinks alcohol and is consistently shown heavily intoxicated. A man is shown leaving an Asian opium den. Woman abuses laudanum. The untouchables. Very close. I think that's very close. Oh, man. Good fellas. That seems close. Untouchables too. is is uh, <clears throat> it's like I uh, think like Prohibition era um, crime movie. The Irishman. That's a good guess. That's a great guess too. Yeah, These are all good guesses. Bad. Okay, yeah, keep going. Is this bringing the podcast down? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> this is how it goes. This is excellent. Okay. This, this is, is how, how it goes. goes. Sometimes they, when you're the reading the clues. The energy felt so good for most of it, and now it's like it's You can't feel the tension down. because you're not trying to guess. Okay. Exactly. You know so this I mean? is good. <laughs> when you are reading the questions, it can really feel like, oh my God, I'm wasting everyone's time. But uh, it's this is excellent. Your minds are going. Because these are good okay. clues. Okay. This we're we're sincerely you'll playing do the game. You'll you know do what some, I mean? Like tension building music when you edit it. <laughs> okay, Ben, okay. here's the note actually. What you do is you look into camera and you tell him what to do. Okay. Yeah. Let's try it. If you look at John Let's and ask what do you, him to what do, do you something, want? he's not going to do it. John, ben, what do you want? You're going to add some tension building music throughout this segment. Perfect. Well done. A woman fondles a man's crotch over a bed blanket. <laughs> Sillier, I like it. Oh, here we go. This, well, let's do a quick one. There are also women with uh, low cut dresses that reveal cleavage. During a scene where poker is being played, there is a painting of a nude woman on the wall behind the poker players that's seen for a minute or so. Or so. In another scene featuring the stage actors, there is another painting with a woman breasts. Stage actors. A scene featuring. Did you hear that? Stage actors. Stage Did you hear that? Black Swan. Stage actors. Stage actors. Stage actors. I, it's gotta be something that has like a play to it, but also shotguns and also old. Cabaret. <laughs> the movie Cabaret. With Queen Latifah? Nope. <laughs> with, uh, with Liza Minnelli. About, uh, well, I'll let you see it. That is incorrect. Okay. An already married character likes another woman. <laughs> 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 now that is a I don't know movies perfect hint. That pearl right. clutching energy of like Just that's so you know. Can he's I coveting can? his neighbor's Please. wife. Yeah. I don't know. Did they make a movie of Deadwood? It sounds like Deadwood. Oh, the Deadwood no. movie. Did they make one? I don't they know. Did. That's what it sounds. I like. haven't seen it. I I, watch Deadwood. I gotta say that's pretty warm. That is pretty warm. Ooh. So is it? As about as warm as you can get. It's like modern westerns. How modern are we talking? 310 to Yuma. Warm. Uh, to tombstone. It is tombstone. It is tombstone. Oh, my God. That's, I've never felt proud about getting an answer right. <laughs> wow. This is, a lot of this game is just a vehicle for conversation, <laughs> and that felt good. <laughs> that felt good. Tombstone. That was satisfying. Yeah. That was satisfying. I was rooting Excellent. for everyone in here. Damn. Except John. I was rooting for him. Love that. Well, that was amazing. Excellent movie, too. Uh, ben, where can the, the people find you? Uh, I'll be at home uh, <laughs> later on. Mm -hmm. 
That's about it. Great. If you wouldn't mind just uh, giving your social security number out of order so that they can't guess it, of but course. so that they do get a sense of who you really are. <laughs> we like to give them a challenge. Oh, you wanted that right now. It's, uh, I thought John was going to put it on the screen. Uh, <laughs> Actually, that's perfect. Put it in put order and then jump it Yeah, because the they're numbers. Yeah. They're easy. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, and just so you know, as a special treat to you, the viewer, that social security number is fair game. Anyone watching this can use that however they want, okay? Uh, it's coupled with a K, right? Yes. Great. So there you go. Um, I've already been a victim of identity theft. He won't even notice. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> been there, done that. <laughs> That's right. Been there, done that. That's what you said. Nice. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> folks, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, Charlie, where, the, where can they find you? Um, most alleys in Chicago. Great. Uh, Ali McBeal has a whole different meaning when you think of it in that context. <laughs> thank you very much, me and Abramson. Uh, thank you so much for watching IDKM, and we hope that you will continue watching even after the video's over. Goodbye. Action. I don't know movies.